so now let's go ahead let me you know because i think that let me answer all the questions right so let me first take whose question okay kitana i think i i remember your question rocket and satellites right if newton's law third law is applicable everywhere or you know where is this normal reaction coming from rock on rocket or satellite uh, first i'll take rocket and satellite in a different there are two different things what are rockets rockets carry the satellites into their orbits now how does a rocket take off i don't know you must have seen uh, if somebody has gone to srihari kota to see the rocket you'll be around 5 to 6 kilometers away from that site you are not allowed to go near that site or you must have seen the visuals on the video i mean the television so when the rocket takes off there is a lot huge amount of smoke coming you know from the bottom of the rocket do you know why is it coming so when a rocket because of the off, thrusters which blow out some kind of flame or air yeah because of the yeah like i i remember like the way it looks it looks like yeah like if something's pull it like something some air or something like that i don't know how to explain it exactly but it's pushing it outwards so like yes. the air is going so what is happening is uh, if you want to understand the principle of rocket what you do is uh, take a balloon fill it with air you know hold and it pop balloon. it uh, just leave it you don't have to pop it just leave it then you'll see that the balloon will go opposite to the direction of its neck the opposite to the direction of its what of its neck the opening oh okay. yeah sir so so why does it go because what is happening the balloon is pushing the air back so so it's pushing the air down which makes it go up yes so the same thing happens with the rocket rocket so is it? that practically rocket science yeah that's what is rocket science but there are a lot of other things also involved so you know when you use the term rocket science it yes, sir, it's like uh, meaning the amount of like pr- pressure and an energy yeah. needed so, to actually so lift uh, such a humongous it it so let's say this is the rocket now of course we have different chambers of that let's not get into details of that for that like sir the um, like the power of the thrusters like so what is happening thing. is they they burn the fuel here and the solid problem you know fuel is burnt and suddenly what will happen the volume will increase if the volume increases there is not enough space for the rocket I mean inside the chamber of the rocket for the gases so what will happen the gases will kick out so because the gases are kicking out this is action and the rocket going up is reaction um sir when the rocket goes in mid air or uh, why do they dismantle the rocket you no know, one by one uh, so uh, let me complete this now rocket we call it as a multi stage rocket so what is happening if mass is more automatically acceleration will be more sorry uh, acceleration would be less because uh, it is difficult to take a heavier wa- uh, mass to greater heights than a lighter mass so what we do is We there's actually rocket. there's actually two reasons why parts come off a rocket one some parts are giving a lot of thrust and they get overheated and if they sell a little they sell a bit too much fuel into it it will create a higher uh, high heat reaction and the rocket has chances to burn up so like and also uh, also because of what mr manoj said so both okay so or what mr manoj is going to say right they have not yet said anything Okay, so well, you said uh, the higher the mass, the slower the acceleration. Yes, I agree with that. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So it is multiple chambers. Now, what is happening? The purpose of this is to contain the fuel, right? So first, what will happen? Fuel in this is burnt. Now, once the fuel in this burnt, there is no no use of this. So what will happen? This goes off. Now the next, the fuel in this burns, right? Once the fuel in this is empty, there is no use of this. Then this falls. Then again, you know, so on. that's what is the multi stage rocket so at every stage what will happen different part suppose where the fuel is over completed they detach from the rocket so in this way what is happening the rocket with the same amount of fuel the rocket can be pushed higher into the orbit fine that's about rocket and the next question was about satellite satellite and projectile motion now uh, you know uh, i don't know whether you people 
play or not. Of course, we have a lot of other things to play with. But one common game that you might be seeing in movies, uh, generally uh, girls playing, they hold each other's hand and they start turning in a circle, right? And when you move in a circle, what will happen? You will experience a force outward. Or, or other other cases that I can talk about is, you know, in in some parks. I don't know whether you go to parks or not. In some parks, there is a uh, there is something like uh, a stand. Isn't like it called stand. centripetal force? Yeah, it's called the centrifugal force. But yeah, very centrifugal and centri centrifugal is when the body is trying to move outside the circular yes, line. Yes. So and what is happening is when when you're rotating, you'll you will you will see you will get an outward force. You'll experience an outward force, right? So similarly, that's centrifugal. Uh, I, I can't see your screen anymore. You can't see the screen or you can't hear me? Sir, I can hear you, sir. I just can't see the screen anymore. Uh, you can just uh, quickly log out. I mean, uh, log out and log, log in. OK, sir. Bye, sir. OK, so now what is happening is, uh, in case of a satellite, satellite is moving around Earth. So because it is constantly moving, there will be an outward force acting on it. So this is this is an outward force. and and what will happen? Gravity is acting towards the center. So one is action, another is reaction. So that's why what is happening? What is the net force acting on it? Net forces. I hope you're getting it. Yeah, uh, sir. But um, the satellite goes around the Earth because the Earth's creating a certain amount of gravity, and the Sun is creating a certain amount of gravity. Am I right? No, no, no. It is only the Earth's gravity which is responsible for that. Then how come? Well, if the, if it's only the Earth's gravity, then how is the satellite staying in orbit, and why is it not coming inwards? Uh, that is what I'm telling you, right? When an object moves in a circular path or a closed path, now there is a force which is acting in outward direction. No, no, no. That's why my question is: What is that force that is pushing it in the outward direction? It is inertia. Uh, now it's difficult for you to understand that. Uh, let me give uh, give you an example. See this, you'll definitely understand. Now, what is inertia? Inertia is tendency of a body to oppose any change in its state. Oh, now I get it. Now I get it. Yeah, yeah, understood. So, what is gravitational force trying to do? It is trying to change pull the it direction inwards of the and body. Inertia is trying inwards. to stay out of the yeah, orbit. So it is trying to pull it inward, and the inertia is trying to keep it away. So that's why we are having this force coming into picture, okay. right? So that's nothing regarded to 